Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today because today we're actually doing a bit of web design, which is such a big topic I know that you guys are interested in and I'm also interested in. So I'm really happy to share that Ready Mag is actually sponsoring this whole video today and we're going to be creating a website using Ready Mag. So if you don't know what Ready Mag is, it's a browser-based design tool that helps you create websites, landing pages, portfolios, anything like that. It's really user-friendly to design. You just have to do a lot of drag and drop kind of design and there's 5,000 free fonts on there. We're gonna get into all of it, so I'll have a lot to show you, but I'm really excited to do this. So the website we're going to be making today is actually for the brand I created, Fold. So that was a donation-based clothing brand kind of like thrift store donation at the flea market. Hopefully you guys um, watched it. I did it on Adobe Live, that's where I created it. And then I did a video where I kind of like redid the logo. Um, so this is kind of an extension of that, like expanding the brand and creating a landing page for them. And this is a made up client kind of thing, but it was my own imagined brand, which I love. So I'm excited to like Put it together into a landing page and see what it could look like if it was a real website. So I'm really excited that ReadyMag is sponsoring this and I want to extend an offer to you to sign up. You can sign up free without a credit card at all. You can also check out the variety of plans they have on there for paid plans and there's a lot of different things that you can do with those like extending future projects, making more projects, things like that. With a studio plan with ReadyMag, you can make as many projects as you want and map up to five domains to your account. You can also add up to five collaborators with the collaboration function. So if you click on the link in the description, use the code PAOLA50 and the first 50 people will get the studio plan for $20. Okay, so let's get into designing. Okay, cool. Love this setup. So I am going to be working on the Fold website, like I said. Um, we're going to just be making like a landing page, kind of like where you would go to get info about what they do, um, because it's more of like a an organization than like a business that's offering product online necessarily. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in ReadyMag and we are starting a new project, which is this site <laughs> so let's get into it and i can kind of like highlight all the features just while doing it because it's, it really is so easy we're gonna just like get started with grids and setting up the page um it is really like self-explanatory but when you do sign up for ready mag there's a whole tutorial that it like kind of just walks you through about clicking all the buttons for the first time and figuring out where, where everything is and it actually is really easy to just catch on so i'm gonna start by setting up a grid so there's lots of different sets, as you can see, of like changing. And I can just drag this to like set up into a three column grid or a four column grid or even five, whatever you want. So if I want to hide the guides, I can always just press H on my keyboard or come over here. And then, yes, we're going to snap to our guides as well. So let's start really putting in all of our elements. So if you guys saw what I did with Fold brand, I have a lot of like images and little elements to the brand concept. Um, so yes, I have changed the logo, but I still am going to use a lot of those elements. And yeah, it's just going to be like the same vibe, of course, from what I created initially. So if we hit the plus button, that is where we use all of our like elements that we can put on a page like text picture shape um there's even like animations on here which is you can animate buttons you can animate scrolling effects there's just so much on here that's really easy to figure out and i really like that about it so first i'm going to hit the picture button and we're going to bring in our logo which we have saved as a picture because that is technically what it is um so i'm bringing in that and I'm just dragging like the size of it and relatively like where I want it to go. And then I'll bring in the picture and we can like assess. So what I'm thinking is I want to just bring in like big pictures that will go extend to the end of the board. So what we wanna do is kind of work with the intuitive scrolling and see where it'll end, see where you'll see it on the desktop. Um, so like this would be kind of a little bit too big. So I just copied and pasted and bring, I'm bringing in another photo over here to this side. Um, but we just want to like make sure that we're finding like an evenness within the layout. So 
So when I hit the shape button, it creates a rectangle for me and then I can change what I want from here. Over here, I can change the color. So that's what we're gonna do. And in here is where you can like re-layer where things go so that I can bring that on top. Let's copy and paste this rectangle over here. So just we have two and let's change the color of this one. So as you can see, when you get on the website now at the top, you can already see like the text that it says donate and everything as you're scrolling. So you know that you want to start scrolling and see what it's about, which I think is an interesting aspect of it. So it helps you kind of like follow your eyes down and see the donate and shop. I think the thing about this type of brand is that I want it to be like for everybody. So for me, I don't want it to just be my exact style, but I still want it to say me in a way um, but when you're working for like a client or other brands or um, just something that you want to be more accessible and relatable to everyone it doesn't always have to be your exact aesthetic and i think that's kind of what i'm doing here like of course it is my aesthetic it's my work but what i'm doing is trying to relate to everybody i kind of like that better i feel like it's more of the vibe we're going for it kind of seamlessly goes into this photo which i think is great um so let's continue that so right now as we scroll down through this is how it's looking and we can add a little bit more info so yes this brand is very picture heavy but i really like that concept on a website so let's make this page a little bit longer as you can see we got a little cut off and perfect place for another photo. And then again, let's put another shape of color just so we don't have like only white as the background. I just like so many different colors, especially with this brand. It just seems like such a fun, like, I don't know, entertaining, like I've said, accessible, just inclusive type of brand so i feel like color it really needs color <laughs> so now i feel like we kind of have the layout now we need to add like the copy and the brand's statements all of the info on the page so let's get into text so hitting that text button brings in a text box and it already has like something in it so you can just start working um so it's pretty easy um and like i said ready mac has like 5,000 fonts on here but you can also upload your own fonts so it makes it really like accessible for the stuff you want to do as a designer especially if you have your own fonts and ideas things you want to bring in that's super easy too so the first thing i'm gonna do is start with like the top bar of little tabs like what you would you what you would be able to click on to go in more into the website so what we're going to be doing is just making the front page of the website today just because it's kind of an in-depth process and i wanted to just show you it um so let's start with that but we're gonna kind of show the tabs of where you could navigate this website so there's lots of different like text styles you can do like caption style body text style and that kind of helps you um, navigate along the way if you're needing help with that type of stuff with type and then on here you can upload fonts and also start searching fonts so i'm going in here to just see what's available and find something that is uh, matching the overall vibe of the brand. So you can look on here at Serif Sans Serif. I'm definitely going with a Sans Serif, like simple, more simple, just because like I said, accessibility, we want everyone to be able to read it very clearly. We want it to be very like easy to click on things and easy to see things. Um, so Sans Serif is very clear and good with that type of stuff and looks 
very modern, which I would say is what this organization is trying to do, um, bring in kind of like a younger audience and demographic of people who want to be like recycling their clothes, donating their clothes and getting into that and away from fast fashion. And I would say you probably are going to read like left to right. So we'll say that their mission is going to be the first most important thing. So we'll put it on the right of the logo when you go to the homepage. So we're going to start with our mission and then we're going to put how to donate. And then we are going to make another one here and put it on this side. So here we're going to put um, the mystery boxes, which if you don't know, that was part of like the original brand. So what you can do is you can um, basically like shop online, but ask them to curate something for you. So you just would put in your sizes, your style, and it would be delivered to you in a mystery box of all the clothes that you would want. So that's kind of an interesting feature of the brand, I would say. So if you hit the button tab and create an actual button, you can also make those at the top, not just text. I kind of did this like for show to show you how the text works as well, but here's how to make like a button. So it would take you to another page or a link, something like that. That's what the button option would do. So here is one, like as soon as you hit it, this is how it pops up and then you can just start changing it. So if I actually made it like the shop tab, I could do that. Um, let's edit it in here. Padding uh, border, you can have a shape color, you can have a certain shape, you can make it like a circle. Um, so we can add this on here as well. So let's do that. So there is our shop button. And like I said, you can always um, create buttons for the top. You can put links into your texts. You can add anything you want really, um, but we're gonna put this Somewhere around here, I'm not sure yet. Let's change the size of it though, it is a little bit big. So on the very front, we're going to put a little bit about fold. I think what's important with web design also is that you need to focus on what is really going to be easy to read, easy to see, the first thing you want them to see and stuff that is clickable. So you wanna find like a happy medium and not overwhelm a page, which I think is pretty simple when it comes to this type of stuff. Um, obviously, like there are mistakes you can make, I guess, but um, yeah, it's pretty simple to like see it for yourself and kind of be your own audience and then say like, hmm, would I click on this? How would I see this? How would I navigate this site? Um, and you can always ask people to look at it too. So I added that to the front and I think it looks really good. Um, let's add an animation to this text that would be like a scrolling effect. I think that would be interesting. So as you can see, adding that effect shows up like that. So I think that's pretty cool, um, but there's lots of different things you can do. So we can have it load like this. That one's like a fade in, which I really like. I think we're gonna do that one. So it's fun to play around with the animation. So now we have an animation on that. Okay, so now we are going to add some text over here on top of this. So let's say add text. So I think I'm gonna do blue for the type down here just because I want it to be a little bit different. So I think that we are pretty much done with the website i think it looks really cool and it's really fun to just start creating like web design stuff um i'm not like the best at it yet i'm still discovering and deciding what is like me with this um but it is a really really fun project and i think this actually looks really awesome especially when you like are scrolling through it so 
yeah i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do at least the process of making this type of stuff it's such a fun exercise especially if you're wanting to create like these made up brands stuff like that like making websites and landing pages portfolio sites this is just really really fun so hopefully this will help you with your client work or your personal work stuff like that so um yeah definitely like building a brand um with that it can create a whole other aspect of building a brand when making a website for it so this is why i really like using this ready mag is just really really fun and i'm glad that we made this together it just feels like so fun and refreshing and i feel like we really captured the brand of fold um just the real essence of it so yeah i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you all and i will see you in my next video Bye. What is that squeaky ass squeak? Whatever <laughs> that car is needs to leave. Oh my god. <laughs> okay.